Good morning, Mets fans, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and yet again, the Mets bullpen costs the Mets yet another win. Last night in Philadelphia, the Mets dropped now to six games under 500, their lowest mark of the season. Uh, 37 and 43 now. I'm going to talk about last night's game, missed opportunities. Um, not a terrible effort from Walker Lockett, and how, once again, I think this is Mickey Calloway's fault. During the early parts of last night's game when the Mets had a lead, um, I, I, wasn't even, I wasn't even being cynical when I was thinking, you know, which reliever is going to blow it tonight? I actually tweeted that, um, I think, in the fourth inning. And my money was on Gazelman. I don't know why, but I felt like it was going to be a Gazelman game to blow. But uh, never had the chance to because um, Mickey stuck with Walker Lockett a little bit too long. And uh, Wilmer Font came in in relief. And boy, was he terrible last night. Uh, he joined the rest of the Mets bullpen as a uh, jumped right into that flaming dumpster. Uh, joined the dumpster, dumpster fire that is the bullpen. And uh, the Phillies poured on five runs. And uh, that was it. You know, that was the end of the line for the Mets. Um, unfortunately, the Mets' offense last night, while they did manage to put up um, five runs, they uh, they just were not able to score uh, to, to get that big hit with runners in scoring position to to capitalize on big innings. Um, Pete Alonso had one of his tougher nights at the plate last night. Um, had the big opportunity late in the game with uh, the bases loaded. And uh, was unable to deliver. And hey, it happens. You know, it's it's it happens. Um, the reliever had his had got the win in that confrontation that time, um, and that would be Hector Neris or Neris as Keith as Keith was calling him last night, which I thought was kind of funny. But uh, anyhow, the uh, the game was just meh. You know, it was the kind of game that it, as 2019 has gone, we know not to get excited about early because <laughs> the bullpen's going to come in and screw it all up. And uh, that's what they did uh, again. And I, I, I don't know that I blame Mickey for not going to the bullpen earlier. You know, Walker Lockett actually pitched pretty well last night. Um, I think I probably would have pulled him after the leadoff walk, as opposed to getting um, you know a second and third situation that uh, Wilmer Fawn had to come in and try to escape. Uh, a little bit more challenging than just having a runner on first. I'm not saying the results would have been any different, of course, but you know, it, it's I think one batter too many for uh, for Walker Lockett when he walked Harper uh, to lead off the uh, lead off the sixth inning. I think it was, um, you know, it was just one batter too many, and I, I think that's been a lot of a lot of the moves that Mickey's making. And I keep saying like he's reacting instead of acting. Um, that he was he he reacted too late. Uh, so he was acting after something, uh, sorry, he was reacting to something happening. You know, as opposed to acting and saying, boy, you know, I think proactive, right? Not proactive. I keep saying active or acting, whatever. Proacting, <laughs> proactive. He needs to do these things before the bad shit happens, is my point. And he always seems to let that bad shit get this much closer to happening before he makes the, the bullpen move. And again, the puzzling thing to me with all of this is that Callaway was a bullpen, was a pitching coach. You know, he ma he managed these situations in the past. I, I don't understand. Uh, and look, I, I'm, I'm not saying that a different manager would have better results because the bottom line is anybody that he's bringing in out of the bullpen right now is just shitting the bed. I mean, it is, an, it is a travesty. Um, it is a complete travesty. This is This team has so many losses because of the bullpen it's, it's unfathomable how bad this bullpen has been. And we've seen some pretty horrible bullpens over the last decade or so in Queens. Um, I keep thinking back to the, 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 po the, um, uh, the stretch run in 2008 um, when, when the Mets had um, Scott Schoenweiss and Guillermo Moda and Luis Ayala closing games. I mean, those, those were some dreadful, dreadful, dreadful bullpen games where it just felt like no matter what happened, the, the, no matter what the offense did, the Mets were going to end up losing the game and the bullpen was going to end up blowing the game. And of course, that's where we are today. That's where we are right now, where no matter what happens, I, we just don't feel comfortable with the lead 
going into the late innings. Unless we have a starter who's really locked in and pitching extremely well and has a shot at a complete game, that's the only point at which, at least for me, I feel comfortable with the Mets having a lead. So, another loss um, in the books. It's, it's, it is what it is. Um, I, I don't know that there's any fixing this right now. Uh, short of just cutting everyone in the bullpen and replacing them with something, um, there, there's not much that, that anybody can do right now to fix this problem. Like Mickey said it best like a week and a half ago. These guys are going to have to get their jobs done. They're going to have to figure it out. He was talking about Familia. Um, I had said this about Familia as well not long ago. But these are the arms that, that are going to either win or lose these games. There aren't reinforcements coming. There aren't replacements available. Craig Kimbrell was available. Yes, that's a great point that you're going to make when you hear this and hear me say that. But he's not available now. That's water under the bridge. What's done is done. Um, Kimbrell's gone. He's not on the board. He's not available. So the Mets have no options going forward other than to fix this internally and get their shit together. And it isn't as though the guys they've brought up from AAA have come in and helped. They, they really haven't. Um, although Steve Nagosik has, um, I don't think he's been given a fair shake. Uh, he's, he's certainly um, been brought into two different situations now where he was in a, a little bit more of a high leverage type situations than I think you would expect from a guy making his big league debut coming up from AAA. But regardless, no one in AAA is coming up and helping. Um, everyone that comes up ends up in the same pattern of shit that is this Mets bullpen. They are they are the collective goat um, right now for this team. You know, they're, they're, if you look over the last couple of weeks um, when I hand out game balls and goats, it's almost universally a reliever that gets the goat because it's universally a reliever that blows the game all the time and that ruins it for us. So um, last night, the real goat was Wilmer Font. Uh, I was tempted to, to hang one on Mickey, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say, look, he he, 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 he didn't pull the, the, the string quick enough. But, you know, if, if Wilmer Font gets the job done like he's supposed to there, then we aren't talking about that. So. I'm gonna give Mickey the pass. On the other end of the uh, on the other end of the stick, um, Jeff McNeil continues to be an absolute revelation. Four hits last night, including what looked like it might have been a game tying home run late in the game that ended up being a double um, in Citizens Bank Park. Um, what can you say about Jeff McNeil? I, if this guy's not an All Star, I, I, I I'm gonna start treating the All Star game the way I treat the Oscars, which is I just don't watch anymore because I just think it's complete garbage. The the movies that they nominate for Oscars and the movies, more importantly, that get snubbed. Um, uh, Jeff McNeil is a freaking all-star. Period. End of story. He's got the third best batting average in the National League. He, he's got multiple hit games every single day, it seems. Okay. You know? McNeil's an all-star. So is Alonzo. And I hope both of them are representing the Mets. <laughs> So that'll wrap it up for today. Um, what more can we say? <sighs> One more game tonight, 7.05 start for the Metsies looking to split this series. They have to take one game first, so they got to win tonight and then again tomorrow afternoon. So I'll be back tomorrow morning to talk about tonight's game, which hopefully goes better than the last two. Until then, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. You can follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met, and as always... Let's go Mets.